Camper Junkie, what's going on fellas? We are about to head to the lake to install the Supreme Bunk Boards. Alright fellas, you may remember on my tracker we had the Ultimate Bunk Boards. Had them on there for many years, no issues at all. So of course when I got the Crest Liner here, I wanted to put them on this trailer as well. Now, what we're going with on this trailer is the Supreme. The Ultimate Bunk Boards do not have this aluminum rail support here like the Supreme does. So if you have a heavier boat or you have a longer span between brackets, you need to go with the Supreme over the Ultimate. And that is the issue that we have here on the tracker. We did have three brackets on the Crestline trailer. We only have two, so we do have a longer span between brackets. So we are going with the Supreme Bunk Boards. Awesome install for these. They have uh, hardware kits on the site. You'll see here on this track here that you can slide the bolts in there, they'll lock into place, you just drop them in the holes in your brackets on your trailer. They do require a two inch center, which we will get a measurement for that once we get to the lake. I do wanna get a quick measurement real fast from the bracket to the skid plate here, okay? I'm not sure if the skid plate will interfere with the Supreme bump boards, so we're gonna go ahead and mount those short of the skid plate. So a quick measurement here, from the front of the bracket, we'll say to the weld, is roughly about two inches. So we're gonna set those back two inches, that way they don't interfere with the skid plate there. All right, fellas, now we're going to head to the lake, swap out the boards. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. On the way to the lake, I, I seen a hitchhiker. So I picked him up, figured he'd give me some help. This is my dad, the old Kaiser. But uh, we just launched the boat. As you guys can see here, we were talking about that, that skid plate there. You can see where the back of the plate was here and the weld. So we just measured again and we are at, what did we say, inch and three quarter? Inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter. So we're going to go ahead and get these old bunks off at the three eighths inch socket. Get these off and then we'll go ahead and put the new ones on. I picked up my dad for him to do this and somehow I ended up with a wrench. I just want to know if you got any of them uh, bomber square bills left. That's... I'd imagine I got about uh, 18, 19 with me. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to need them today. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, can you tie one on? I'm not worried about tying it on. That's why I got you here. <laughs> I'm sure this is a view nobody wants to see. So I'm going to move around to the other side. <laughs> I do have like 3% women that watch this channel. That's why you only got 3%. <laughs> the front view is almost as bad as at the back. <laughs> I guess I could have put the socket on a drill. Well, nobody ever said you were that bright. <laughs> One down. Well, but another hour or so, we should have them other three bolts off. <laughs> All right, say two inch center. So you can see here, two inch center. We come to the bracket. You guys can see that. We're off about an eighth inch. So we're gonna open up both of these holes here, and that should work out. All right, fellas, what we did, didn't have enough room here to drill new holes. We just opened up the existing holes to make them accept the bolts there in those channels. All right, now we're just gonna slide the bolts in the channel, drop them in the brackets and bolt them on. Got it all done, bolted on. Of course there's a Supreme bunk boards and there's a stock boards came on the trailer I'm gonna show you here how we got our measurement dad's a bit anxious to get on the water <laughs> inch and three-quarter from the bracket to the end well guys pretty straightforward install makes it simple to launch and load the boat and I will link my other video down below where I show that with my tracker definitely check that out hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to smash the thumbs up 
And I'll have these linked down below as well if you guys like to check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, smash the thumbs up. We will see you guys on the next one.